Well, I would think overall it's going to be a bad outcome for Georgia voters. And one of the reasons I believe voters should be engaged and concerned and have something at stake in the redistricting process is because it gives voters an opportunity to influence a lot of legislative decisions. Every 10 years as we do the census, census right. we take account and, and determine where people have moved and where the people are. And that's how districts are created. Right. You've got to have one man, one vote, meaning you create each district with equal, equal size population. Right. So there were changes in Fulton and DeKalb counties where you've got districts that were, were clearly gerrymandered. Mm -hmm. And you can look based on the shapes of those districts where you might have a district that runs from South Fulton all the way to Buckhead in a narrow straight line. Wow. So the argument there is there's not a, a real community of interest and those communities don't have much in common. The voters don't really have the same lifestyle and that, that was done again at the expense of some of our, our membership. And My question uh, begins with pairings and uh, sort of a follow-up to Representative Lindsay's questions. And we certainly understand that as populations shift and move and you may lose people in, in one area that you've, you've got to account for that and uh, make adjustments. The uh, question though is were any efforts made to avoid unnecessary pairings? In the instance of uh, DeKalb County, for example, we've got two open seats, so we've been able to add additional seats while at the same time we've got members who have been paired. My question would also uh, concern the radius used. So was there another approach that may have been able to avoid these pairings? So say, for instance, you looked at a radius and you had a geographic area and you had to account for so many seats and so many people. Could that area have been moved over maybe east? We've got uh, a lot of growth in the Gwinnett and Rockdale and, and Henry County areas, and I'm wondering if, if you may have been able to take a different approach to avoid some of the pairings and, and were any efforts made in that in that When regard. you merge districts together, you tend to isolate voters, and it's a very subtle uh, isolation, isolation this time, and, mm -hmm. and there's a term called packing. Right. And on the surface, the districts we've created may not appear to be packed just based on the numbers alone. But when you get down into the, uh, the, the demographics and the boundaries and the way these lines were drawn, you'll see that the outcome will be a little bit counterproductive. Because people tend to be somewhere in the center. In the middle. But mm -hmm. most of the districts are drawn in a hyper-partisan manner so that you're going to get the extremes from both parties. Right. So where you might have a majority black district, and in, in this case, through this cycle, we've had districts that were combined. You've either got Democrats being paired and pitted against other Democrats, Democrats. And, and those come in, in white versus black mm -hmm. uh, matchups. So it's very polarizing in that sense. And then you've also got... But is it, though? Is it polarizing? Is it, because, I, but what, because, because I think... I, think, I want I think, you to think, do that, yeah. man. What is the real intent behind all that? Let's tell the truth the, the, on that. The intent is, is power. Mm -hmm. Political power, pure and simple. And that's why this redistricting process is such a politi hyper-partisan, politicized process that most voters don't like. In districts that were not majority-minority, what criteria were used to determine communities of interest? And, uh, you know, how did you arrive at what would be an appropriate... Uh, boundary based on and, and what factors were used in determining what uh, would be the best communities to be kept together and, and how did you arrive at that? Well, we based on a lot of factors. Part, part, you know, a big part of that was from the public hearings we had all over, all over the, in all the metropolitan areas around the state, um, and the information we received from the, from those uh, the public. You know, we had, as you recall, we had pretty great participation in that process. One that we should be proud of. And I think the folks uh, in those areas uh, were were really pleased that we brought brought government to them, um, and then and then uh, the uh, reaching out to every representative in all those areas and getting their input as to as to what what is important in, in this part of the state as to uh, meet, meeting meeting uh, those communities and bringing those together as much as you can in in. Uh, in relation to and in conjunction with complying with your legal requirements, so we uh, just just a varied uh, information that we looked at to do that. 
So our local delegations will drive the agenda and shape policy for, say, DeKalb County, Fulton County, so forth and so on. Henry County is one you mentioned. Right. And we had an opportunity in Henry County where we've got uh, a black population that makes up about 38 to 40 percent of the <laughs> county. And there was an opportunity when drawing the local county commission districts, which is something we do in the General Assembly, mm -hmm. right. where we create districts for their local county commissions to run mm -hmm. under. And there was an opportunity to create two majority minority districts. Rather than doing that, the local delegation and, uh, and, the, and the, the powers that be decided right. that we would create only one majority minority district, which could be considered so packing, packing all of those right. voters. And, yeah. it, and it, it's, ba you know, it's subjective, depending on someone's interpretation. Right, right. But uh, when you look at and it, what Ali said. you could say that you've <laughs> created one district and you've created a super majority, right. one super majority minority district. So the black politician may be happy because he's going to be a super majority minority district. That's, right. that's right. what he's I said. In. But then right. the right. second right. district that could be created to influence the entire county right. and that county commission as a whole yeah. is absent. And right. then in terms of cracking, let's look at Gwinnett County, where it's a majority minority population. Right. That local delegation created a map for their county commission, which has no majority, right. not one majority, majority minority seat. They and it's a majority minority, minority county. county. Right. So they gotcha. cracked the population, right. dispersed them, and put them All in different, different, different districts. districts. So, so that they did the reverse. you dilute right. their voting right. strength. Right. Right. So what do you think the courts will do? The outcome, my thought, is that there will be sections of the maps to be thrown out and we'll probably have to revisit and make some changes.